Welcome. I hope this read finds you in good spirits and in good health. And we are embarking on something else uh, today. So I have decided that I will do all signs reads as one read and there'll be short reads. And the only Zodiac that I will be doing reads for specifically is Ophiuchus. Okay. We rep in Ophiuchus over here at Wild Seed Esterica. Okay. So in case you haven't watched none of my other videos, what you need to know is down below. We got the chase. Um, what you need to know is down below, this is a timeless tarot reading. It's collective. If you want a private read, there's a link in the description. Um, take what fits, leave what doesn't. Use your intuition, use your discernment. Everything might not resonate with you, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, this is a read for Ophiuchus. Specifically. Yeah. The 13th Zodiac. Okay, everybody got their little Scorpio channels, their Sagittarius channels, and I'm a Sagittarius, so I appreciate it, but I haven't seen no, yeah, there's a Capricorn channel. We gotta, we gotta cover, we gotta cover Mama. Mama Boobies is out. I gotta watch when I pull these cards, because they can get me in trouble. So we have the Chaste, and we have the Mother. Okay, so for people that don't know about Ophiuchus, it is the serpent bearer. It is the 13th Zodiac. Uh, what is it? It's like late November to the beginning of December. I'll leave the dates in the description. Um, uh, the traits of Ophiuchus is Ophiuchus... People in the Zodiac are often the healers. They're spirited. They're curious. They're a little slick. <laughs> and they like to kind of get in trouble. They're, they're a little bit... They get into shit. Ooh, we got the witch. Ooh, this is going to be very interesting. We've got the chaste for devotion. Devotion and religious fervor. We got a lot of spirituality out here in these uh these uh first cards that I put out here. And then we got the saint on the bottom. So let's see what's gonna go in here. You got the witch here. You got the mother. The mother is nurturing. She's cultivating something, she's growing something, she's creating something, she's gonna give birth to something. And then the witch she likes to hang in the backgrounds kind of do her mojo on the energy. You got the sun and the stars out here. And then you got this lady looking up to the most high. So we about to find out what what's in store for Ophiuchus. So I've been calling it Ophiuchus for the longest time. Not for nothing. Uh, I think Ophiuchus sounds better. But that's not how you say it. It's Ophiuchus. So... If you're born at the end of Scorpio and the very beginning of Sagittarius, you very well may be Ophiuchus. Okay. So we're going to pull seven cards. Let's see what's going on for Ophiuchus. Tell me, tell me what Ophiuchus needs to know today. What messages for Ophiuchus, the snake bearers? Got the page of wands. Got some news coming in. You hold these right. Page of Wands, you got some news. You're inspired. Might be a new opportunity, new project, new business venture. Oh, yeah. Now we got the Ten of Swords. <laughs> what else we got here? Ten of Swords and we got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so you good news or a new business venture, right? Well, this looks like problems with work. Working hard on something. 
and somebody's trying to get at you, somebody's messing with you at work or something, people stabbing you in the back at work, project not going right, somebody's jerking you. Mm, I could really spew off some profanities right now, but I'm trying to behave myself. Let's see what else we got. What's hiding? Mm, transformation. Things are changing. You can't see that things are changing. Probably the work that you're doing is changing things. And it's probably changing whatever betrayal you've had. Because you got good news that's coming at you. Or that came to you recently. But that's moving out. Okay, so you've got some hidden transformation going on. Something must go so something new can be put in its place. Movement to a, a different space, a, a space of light moving out of some darkness, possibly. Look, at you got emperors on the ground losing their crown. <laughs> What's the block? What's the obstacle? What's in the way? What's the obstacle? I'll take them. Five of Cups, Disappointment, King of Swords. Here we go, here we go. So you may have a King of Swords that caused you some disappointment. Mm-hmm. You may have had to turn your back on something, or you're turning your back on what you have, focusing on something that's gone wrong with the King of Swords, and it's probably an emotional thing. This could be somebody involved in business. could be a business partner. Somebody probably said something, some jacked up shit. Or somebody, somebody don't know how to talk right. And you got a problem with it. That's possible too. But you got the King of Swords here. King of Swords is, it's not always bad. But the fact that it's with a Five of Cups, it doesn't look good. It's, it's telling me that King of Swords did something. And then you got this going on with this over here. With this Ten of Swords. So you got an obstacle. So this is what's going on now. And then here's your, what your obstacle is. So you got this Ten of Swords and this Five of Cups. So you got stabbed in the neck. So you feel a type of way. You working with the King of Swords. That's what's going on. Okay. What's going on in the environment? Knight of Wands. Huh. Hmm. This forward movement, pushing forward. Your what's what's around you is calling you, calling for you to be brave. Or there may be somebody coming towards you that is being brave to help deal with the situation. Not a wants can kind of be the hero sometimes. He's more like a hero. Like the Knight of Cups is more like a knight in shining armor. This guy, he's the one that's going to come and be like, what happened? What happened? <laughs> so you might have somebody in your environment that's pushing forward to kind of help you deal with things. Or kind of help fix things. Or be of some support or something. But definitely to help you push forward. Alright. What's the best best way to move? What's the best action? Look at this. You got the Knight of Swords. We got the Knights popping out, huh? You got the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords? Uh-huh. It's fast movement. You got a little squad. This Knight of Swords as the best way to move, best action, best thing to do about the situation with the Knight of Wands. Like, that's like, that's interesting. This King of Swords might have a problem. That's, that's reinforcements. So it seems like you got some, you got some good, uh, you got backup. That's what it looks like. You got a backup, you got a squad going on. 
And it's not a source. They coming in. They they not playing. They moving fast. These are both two fast moving cards. Fast moving suits. It's not like the Pentacles. It's not like the Cups. Not the Swords and the Knight of Wands. Not a. I don't know who's faster. I want to say the Knight of Swords is the fastest of them all. All right. What's the outcome? You're going to get some clarifiers on this. This is looking interesting. This is look like you fucked with the wrong one. <laughs> but there's definitely an issue going on here. And there's some changes that are being made behind the scenes. It may be these guys working behind the scenes. Somebody might be working behind the scenes on your behalf. Come on, give me an outcome. What's, how this gonna how this gonna how the chips gonna fall? Ooh, strength. So this is what I find interesting. You have these two cards, they're looking in that direction, right? This kind of got messed up in the games looking in that direction, right? You got the mother looking in that direction. You got your creativity looking in that direction, right? This one is looking in that direction, too. I don't know how, how that one plays. And then you got strength looking this way. The nun looking this way. The witch, she's kind of looking this way, but she's still looking in this direction. The witch and the knight of, king of swords are the only ones looking directly. And I guess you could say this, the, the, the grim reaper here. That's looking directly at me reading these cards. So what is that telling me? That's telling me there's something else that's going on that's is higher vibrational going on here. You got the King of Swords, and he's got butterflies. King of Swords got butterflies and birds. There's something going on on a higher level. It's not just topical. Okay. Oh, it's the World card. That's a, a cycle is completing. An accomplishment, success, that's a good, that's a good card. Okay, so, let's find out what's what. Let's see what else is going on for Ophiuchus. Ophiuchus. Yeah, we's doing Ophiuchus reads. Yes. I guess if you're a Scorpio or a Set, well, if you're... You're within them dates, and, and there's no way to find out if you got Ophiuchus in any other placement in your chart. So this is real specific. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh no, we don't want this. We don't want this like this. Okay. What is this page of one? What is this news? What is this positivity? New opportunity, messenger. Who is this? What is this moving out? Mm. This page may be coming in with a message or opportunity, but it's not looking like that's a good idea, especially seeing all the rest of this stuff too. But this Wheel of Fortune, yeah, that's not, that's not, that's not good luck. That's not a good look. Somebody's coming in, and somebody might be coming in to tell you something about your business, about a business partner, about something, about something new, some new opportunity, some new something to get involved in and it's not a good idea it's bad it's not good luck first of all you got this wheel of fortune in reverse and then you got then you you got this shit nah 
If somebody came and told you something and it sounds too good to be true, it is. And you probably, you probably got, probably don't know. Probably too excited. Ooh, see? Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Five of Wands. I kind of want to put it the way it fell. It doesn't really make much difference. It just means it's less, it's less. That's like competition. That's, look at, they climbing on each other to try to get to the top. And that is making me feel like somebody might have came to you with something and it's a setup. It's a setup for something else like bait and switch. Give me one more on this, this page to the wheel to the five of wands. Mm-hmm. Tell me. Ooh. I guess we... I don't want all these cards. They're judging you. Whoever came in to tell you something. See, yeah. Somebody came in to tell you something. Offer you something. Present something. For you to work work on, be involved with, right? It's not, it's, it don't got no good fortune on it. There's some, some, some not on the surface competition involved with this. And they judging you. Balance. Look at, hold your bag. See, hold your bag. Balance it by holding your bag. What is this? Hmm. Six of Cups reverse? It's almost like this is probably somebody you've known or it's probably a situation or a opportunity or project or something that you've dealt with in the past. It's something about, it's something about, um, the past not letting go or not letting go of the past. I want to say it's the past not letting go because here, here you holding the bag. The balance is holding your bag because people are judging you. Not letting the past dictate shit. Not being nostalgic about it. So it's probably, it might be somebody you've known or you've worked with before. Or you have a history with that's coming in with some news or came in with some news. Because that's the energy that's moving out. So this may have already kind of gone down or is in the process of. But right now you in the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords to the Eight of Pentacles. We're going to find out what this is. Cause this is a, this is what's going on now. What is what is this ten of swords, eight of pentacles? What's this? Tell me. Walk away. Look it. Walk away. Walk away. The cards will tell you it's a lie. It's a lie. Walk away. It's a lie. Ooh, I hope somebody get this information. And it helps somebody from getting in a bad situation. But it don't seem like it matters if you get this message because somebody got squad. This is squad right here. Deep. <laughs> you got the lion. You got the you got the knights on horses and shit. The, the fucking cavalry. <laughs> Give me one more card. What is this? Give me one more card. Mm. This be being in losing a home. But it also means like the nine of pentacles is a, is success. There's no success. There's no success. Walk away, it's a lie, there's no success. Mm. That shit look ugly. 
What is this hidden transformation? What is this death card? Tell me more about this death card. It's a win. It's transformed into a win. So whatever happened here is being transformed into a win. On a, on a down low, behind the scenes, this is not what you can see. This is not what's clear and, and obvious. I don't know if I want to even pull any more cards for that. There's a hidden transformation happening for a win. Do I want to pull more cards? I'll pull one more card. One more card for this. Tell me more. What's going to be a problem for King of Pentacles? going to be a problem for the king of pentacles and whoever is listening or, or, or whoever this read is for is not the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is probably the person over here in this mess the king of pentacles is probably somebody that's coming to you because especially you got this dog here dog is loyalty an old friend and you got the look at you got the, the the man with the dog here right that's who this is and the change Whatever's transforming, whatever hidden transformation that's happening, that's going to set you up for a win, is going to cause a problem for whoever this King of Pentacles is. Alright. Alright, Ophiuchus. Tell me what this Five of Cups King of Swords is. This is what the, what the block is. This is what's in the way. Queen of Cups. Oh boy. So you got a situation with a king of swords, which is a cold suit, and a queen of cups, or somebody that's emotional. Somebody is emotionally dealing with somebody that is cut and dry. And this is causing a problem. Because here's where the emotions are. There's no emotions in this cup. Okay, tell, give me one more card on this, because I'm not sitting on this. Because that's clearly, oh, see, it's the nostalgia. That's where the emotions are coming from. The emotions are coming from the past. But. That's only from wh whose read this is for. It's not for the King of Pentacles or the King of Swords. I'm going to take one more card. Yeah, you letting the past make you emotional. And that's how, that's how you're getting caught up in this shit. You're not using a practical mind. You're going with your feelings. Oh, this is my people's. Oh, I've known this person for X, Y, Z amount of years. Oh, I'm feeling this, 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 whatever, this endeavor, right? But who's coming at you is not, is not in that zone. Give me one more card for this. Mm. Danger. Look it. Okay. If you move, if you move behind what's going wrong, okay, this Ten of Swords, getting stabbed in the neck, whatever you want to call it, whatever problem that's really fucking you up, right? If you go deal with that with emotions, while whoever is involved in this is not, right? If that's what you're going to do. You're going to have big problems. You have problems. These are problems you can't see that are already there. They're a warning. Mm -hmm. And you can sense it. It's also your intuition. You got this Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups is your intuition too. Your intuition is telling you 
to leave this shit alone. And move by yourself. Moving on. Knight of Wands. Who is this? Who is this around you? Knight of Swords. Look at this. You got the Knight of Swords twice. Who's that? Who is that? Who is the Knight of Swords? Somebody is coming with more information, too. Knight of Swords moves fast, and he's got, you know, he's carrying the sword. He's carrying the truth. And the Knight of Swords is one individual. You know what, though? I wonder if this Knight of Swords and this King of Swords are the same person. Because maybe, or maybe, no. Okay, I'm looking at this wrong. I'm not looking at this right. This is turning away because your feelings are hurt, right? And you're not paying attention to the emotions that you have, which means you're becoming logical. I think this is you. You're being logical. And it's your emotions that you got you caught into this is making you aware that it's not good. This is not a nemesis. This is an aspect of you. And this is somebody else that's helping the situation. Very well could be this King of Swords or could be influencing this King of Swords energy to kind of help you get past the hurt feelings. Because you're walking away from something. Mm-hmm. Got the Knight of Swords twice. Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. That's a squad, yo. Eight of Swords. Still not seeing something. These guys are here to help you see something you can't see. You got two people on your squad that's helping you see what you can't see. See, you looking at this, you're not looking at these cups. Two cups, two knights. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit on that. Tell me what what who's the person this read is for not seeing? Hmm. Give me another one. One more. I don't think that is that you can't see. You're not looking at it. And I always, I, when I see these crows, it's this and the two of swords. When I see these crows, they tying somebody up with string, right? That's not really tying them up, but they're always blindfolded. And I always look at this as that, especially since the crows are messengers, right? These crows are trying to guide this person to see with their inner eye. And then here you go, you got this ace of wands. So you got, you have people around you that are able to bring logic and practicality so that you can be creative and be able to look at things with your inner vision, with your inner light. 
because this is your, this is your intuition. This is also your intuition, but this is also your creativity. New ideas, your inspiration. But it's also in this deck, especially, it's your intuition. Those the things that you do, that you work at, that you create. at that you know what for somebody their work is like a religion for them what they do it's most likely something creative but it doesn't have to be and creative is a really broad range. Because you can create healing for people. You can Creativity has such a broad range. But that creativity that's a part of what you do. Or you're making it a part of what you do. Is, is, is religious and spiritual. And that's why this mother is sandwiched in between this, this chaste. And this witch, and what that's telling me is, is that there's an extraordinary level of devotion that's involved with this, whatever it is that you do. Hmm. All right, moving on. What's the best thing to do? What's this Knight of Swords and the best thing to do? It's not the swords, man. I can't get over the cavalry. You got a whole cavalry here. You got at least three people that got your back hard body. This that's gonna help guide you through whatever this transition is. Cause somebody came with some bullshit. Somebody came with a bait and switch. Or something was offered to you, or you got a job, or you just, you went for a job. Or, I don't know, something involving work, some shit that you do that you really love, and it's something that's creative. Tell me what this Knight of Swords is. It's the best way to move, best action. Hmm. Hangman. I think the best thing is to move fast, to move decisively with the wisdom that you've gained. It's like you, with the, you have a new perspective of things. Tell me more. To move fast with, with a, a, a new way of looking at shit, a new perspective. What else? Take it, justice. So you got Virgo on the board. You got Sagittarius on the board. You got Leo on the board, Aquarius, Taurus on the board. What else? You got Libra on the board. Libra, Sagittarius. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, I think Scorpio. Scorpio. Aries. So... The problem started, wherever the problem started had to do with, or had probably had some involvement and it, it may or may not fit, so don't force it if it doesn't, if it doesn't. 
the original offset that we're moving out of. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, what is this? Libra, Sagittarius. Moving over. This tower got to do with somebody with Aries. Pisces and Virgo here. Libra, Libra. That Knight of Swords, that Knight, if there's somebody, if that represents somebody, it could be a Libra coming to bring some balance to shit. But the adjustment, so over here, you're being judged, right? Whoever wants to compete with you, bringing you offers but want to compete with you, they're judging you, right? They don't get to judge you. Because you have a brighter perspective and you just need to move fast and concise and with the truth. That's a good look. Okay, so what's the strength? What's this lady taming? The strength is the empress. What is this lady? Uh, got some strong ladies out here. What is this lady? What is this, this strength card? What is the... What's the final outcome? How is this gonna how's this gonna play out? Strength is like holding on, holding back. Got the King of Swords again. Ooh No new beginning with the King of Swords. The King of Swords may very well be somebody. Look at that. That answers that question. That is somebody else. And that is probably this guy. Mm hmm Behind the scenes, behind the behind the curtain, he 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 tried to move as the king of pentacles. But in the open he's the king of swords. Talking. And here, this is keeping taming the beast. This is no no beginning. This is no new beginning or being indecisive. And you should be indecisive if it's this King of Swords. The good thing is, here's the, this is the upside. This is what I will say. It's not looking so good for this King of Swords, right? But the, the best thing for this King of Swords is that he's not upside down. Upside down would just be the, be, be the worst of the worst. There'll be super red flag, you in trouble. This person doesn't seem to have best interest at heart, or this, or he. There may be ulterior motives or something. I'm feeling this is not like your straight, you know, upright King of Swords. This King of Swords is coming with some some fuckery. Okay. That's what I'll say about that. Do I want to pull another card? I do not. I'm going to pull a couple of oracle cards. Just because I'm curious, I'm going to pull one of these. Mercy. Hmm. That's why he's not upside down. He's fucking up, but he's not completely a bad guy. On the bottom you have ritual. Pay attention to your time. That's why this guy's moving fast. Um he's not altogether a bad guy. 
But you can't deal with him out of no emotions. And you can't deal with him out of no nostalgia. I do believe this King of Pentacles and this King of Swords is the same person. And he's going to have some issues anyway because the, the way shit is changing up that you can't see is going to, your win, because he's this competition, your win is going to cause him a tower moment. He's going to have a problem. Right? He's going to have a problem with that. He's not going to like that. And you just got to show him mercy. And this could be a male, female, a female with moving in masculine energy. Especially if you're moving like this. You could be a girl moving like this too. It's just a level of, a level of underhandedness that's involved. That doesn't seem like it needs to be necessary. It's ego driven. Especially with that competition. And then especially bringing information or bringing opportunity... And, like, having this whole bait-and-switch situation going on. I don't get it. Anyways, just be cautious. But you seem to have it in control because you have devotion. Devotion to the Most High. And it also reflects that you have a level of ritual and, and consistency about gratitude. Okay? But you also have the 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 you have the the skill to manifest, which is dealing with energies and, and shifting them and balancing them. Not necessarily manipulating them. That's where people get things twisted. It's not about manipulating energy. It's about moving with that movement, finding out what the movement of the energy is, is the best movement that's going to work. Ooh, the spider. Cosmic connection. Tarantula, use your intuition. All things are connected. So be more aware of your surroundings. Don't get lazy. Work while you wait. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. That's like icing on the cake for that reading. Well, oh, fucus. No snakes came out on the table. I mean, you got somebody that's slithering a little bit, but that's an outstanding read. Uh, I hope this helps somebody.